Saturday, October the 5th, USKA Fight Sports returns to its home, the Parkview Inn, on Bulldog Drive in Allentown, Pennsylvania, with another pro Muay Thai card. Get your tickets at uskafightsports.com, uskafightsports.com. Right, I am here with Dylan Harnish and John Wonder, and uh, you guys are going to be fighting each other this Saturday night in Allentown. And uh, I've interviewed both of you, and Bob Maloney has also interviewed you, Dylan. And I just want you guys to introduce yourselves, and we'll go from here. So, John, why don't you introduce yourself first? So, uh, John Wonder, uh, kind of Algy MMA. Uh, yeah, I'm just fighting this Saturday night. Got Dylan here. He's he's my guy. All right, John. I had originally um, proposed this fight to someone else in your gym. He couldn't take the fight, and then you wanted to, this fight. So tell us why you wanted to fight Dylan Harnish. Two reasons. One, one was weight, honestly, because I was coming down from a pretty high weight, and uh, figured this isn't really a cut. Um, and like I said before, he's got a decent record, but I. From his last fight, I didn't really see how. So, I'm kind of, I want to find out why. <laughs> All right. So, Dylan, let's put it over to you. Just quickly introduce yourself. Uh, Dylan Harnish, two and one uh, with Gary, fighting this Saturday night against John. All right. So, John sees your record. He sees your fights, um, but he doesn't understand why you're two and one. So, why don't you tell us why? You know why. Uh, my first two <laughs> fights. Uh, Guy Adarami dominated him. Christian Dexter fighting this Saturday dominated him. Uh, the last fight didn't go my way. The injury happened 30 seconds in. I could see why he doesn't understand why the record's good, but uh, he'll see. Saturday night's going to be fun. So um, you had mentioned today that you didn't think that if, 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 if John was at his best, you said, and you were at your worst, you still think you're going to win this fight. Is that correct? Yeah, not only John. I think that about anybody. You can't let any doubt slip in. If I think that he has a chance, then I already lost that. Not only him, everybody. Very good, very good. All right, John, how do you feel about that? I mean, I know you mentioned today, you, you, wow, he's got some confidence, but um, how you, what are your plans for a statement like that? Does that motivate you, or is that, it doesn't scare you, does it? No. Um, I mean, the last thing that I need is motivation. If I need... If I need him saying something to motivate me, then I'm in the wrong spot. Um, I don't know. It's just I'm glad that he's as confident as he is because I'm confident myself and I'm going to take his from him. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's what's my thing is I want to come in and I want to – whatever he feels like he's good at, I'm going to be better at. Is it true, John, that you just scouted out his last fight like he keeps saying, or have you seen his other fights as well? No, I've only seen – I've seen a snippet of the one. I was actually at that – uh, our guy, No Way, fought on that card. So I caught that in person. But that, uh -huh. that's it. Uh, right. All right, Dylan, back to you. So you, you saw John – you scouted John out, and you saw him fight, I believe you said Kevin Rhodes, correct? Yep. And um, – Tell us how you felt about that fight and what gives you the confidence going again against John. Um, well, I've, I've been asking to fight Kevin Rhodes for a while. Uh, after my first fight, I beat a Rami guy. I wanted to fight Kevin. Uh, I think he just recently turned pro. But uh, I didn't see anything special. He said it was two years ago, so hopefully he's improved since then and he could prove me wrong. Hopefully he got a lot better because if that's what shows up, then I think it's going to be easy. Uh, is it going to be easy, John? Yeah, we'll, we'll say that. <laughs> uh, all right, so um, I, I put up a picture of your fight poster the other day, and um, I, uh, you know, asked who's going to win the ring. And, John, you had a lot of interesting comments from, from, from your side there. Uh, and, and everybody feels that you're going to win, obviously, from, from that side. So um, there's a couple of comments I thought were pretty funny about uh, kissing the ring and stuff like that. And I know you offered to buy Dylan a drink, and that got blown out of proportion because Dylan's not old enough to drink. I <laughs> so, you know, know that until I'll like, take it. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll buy you something afterwards. We'll get shaking our fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, why we're on here? Tell me, tell me why Dylan's wrong in his approach to this fight, and why you're going to win the fight. Because I actually laughed out loud earlier uh, when I when I watched the video. 
and you said um, you're hitting pads and sparring outside and not doing things like that. Like, you're right. I'm not doing things like that because I've never heard of anybody doing that before. That's crazy. <laughs> like, the week of the fight, I, it's, that's crazy. Right. So, I mean, it's everybody's got their own stuff. That's that's a different level of unorthodox as far as I'm concerned. I mean, if that's the way that you're preparing, then you're preparing the wrong way as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Dylan, you feel you're preparing the wrong way or do you um, how do you see that? No, there was a lot of things that went on outside inside of the gym that transpired. But uh, that's neither here nor there. That's not anybody else's business. I'm doing what I have to do. And uh He'll see who's preparing the right way and who's wrong. I'm sure everything he's doing is right, and everything I'm doing is right. We're just doing it different. And uh, Saturday night, we're going to show who's better, and that's it. So how do you see the fight going? I see me winning, obviously. But uh, hopefully I go out there, get it done quick, and move on to the next one. All right, Dylan, uh, I'm just going to let you finish up your thoughts, and then I'm going to give John the last word here. Uh, I'm just excited to put on a show for you guys. I see we're on the main card. And uh, last time that happened, I let everybody down with the injury and everyone that showed up, or everyone that showed up, they didn't really get to see much. So everyone that's coming, I'm going to put on a show for you guys. And if you still want to get me a drink after, I'll take it. But uh, everything aside, after this, it's going to be a good time. And best of luck to him and everybody else on the card. But I can myself get my hand raised and putting on the best performance uh, out of everybody on the card. All right, very good. John, you have the last word here. Mm, um, I don't really see anywhere where, uh, where, where I'm really just not going to be at my best. Um, I want this to be my first finish. I said that from the get-go. Um, I didn't see much from him in his minute-and-a-half fight because it was a minute-and-a-half long, but I think I saw enough. I found some holes. Um, and if I can find holes on the people that I train with, I'm going to find the holes on him. Very good. And just to be clear, you've never trained outside. Never, never <laughs> sport outside. Never, never heads outside. We'll, we'll see. Maybe, maybe that'll change after this. We'll find out. All right. Um, I have a feeling, guys, that this is going to be a great fight. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I wish you both luck, and uh, I have a feeling afterwards you're both going to be sitting down and buying each other a little something, a drink or something. But, but good luck. I'll see you guys in a few days. Thanks for taking the extra couple minutes and uh, talking with us today, okay? See you guys on Saturday. Thank you. Saturday, October the 5th, USKA Fight Sports returns to its home, the Parkview Inn, on Bulldog Drive in Allentown, Pennsylvania, with another pro Muay Thai card. Get your tickets at uskafightsports.com, uskafightsports.com.